Well, throughout the pandemic, blood donations and supplies have been in high demand, but not everyone has the ability to donate, shedding some light on the current blood donation restrictions placed on the LGBTQ community. TV5's Blake Keller joins us this morning to tell us what could change that. Good morning, Blake. Hey, Colette, good morning. Yeah, gay and bisexual men are allowed to donate blood, but with tight restrictions their heterosexual counterparts don't face, not only during the pandemic, but the past four decades. But a new exciting pilot study in the new year could lift those restrictions. Laws have not kept up with the scientific advances since the 1980s. Almost 40 years since the HIV AIDS epidemic in the U.S. and gay and bisexual men are still restricted when it comes to donating blood. Tom Brubaker is an HIV AIDS advocate at Sacred Heart in Saginaw. I don't think any group should be discriminated uh, based upon sexual orientation. Due to the pandemic and a severe shortage of blood donations, in April, the FDA changed restrictions. Sexually active gay or bisexual men must be abstinent for three months rather than a full year. It's a step in the right direction, but it, it is also discriminatory. He believes there should be a different approach for the LGBTQ community. Uh, I think that uh, all blood donations uh, need to be screened through an individual risk assessment. That's exactly what the FDA is going to look at in a new pilot study in the new year, which could eliminate the ban altogether. I think that'll, that helps reduce the stigma. There's so much stigma. They need to be updated. And so I'm really, I'm very glad to see the FDA is going to engage in this pilot project. The study will include 2,000 men who wish to donate blood. The results expected by late 2021. Education and then sharing that education is really a key. Now, more recently, the UK and New Zealand have both moved to ease rules, making it easier for gay and bisexual men to donate their blood. Now, Brew Baker also suggests to get tested for HIV at least once a year. Live this morning, Blake Keller, WNEM TV5.